And we're back. Welcome back to the Auto Authorities Podcast. I am Jay. This is Gerald coming to you live. What is happening right now? Credit guidelines are tightening. And how is this going to affect you when you're going to buy a car? We will let you know. Ready to do this, Gerald? Sure. Let's go. Have you ever felt like you were taken for a ride while buying, selling, or repairing your car? Well, not anymore. I'm Jay, and this is the podcast to tell you what to watch out for, whether you are buying, selling, or repairing your car. With over 26 years of automotive experience, we are the Auto Authorities. This podcast is sponsored by iAutoAgent.com. We're real estate agents for cars. Booyah. Welcome back to the Auto Authorities Podcast. I am Jay. This is Gerald coming to you live. Today, we have a great show about credit lending guidelines are tightening and how this could really affect you. But before we get going, let's thank our sponsors, iAutoAgent.com. At iAutoAgent, they have two different divisions. They have the individual personal consumer division where they help you sell your car at no cost to you. They market, they list, they show the vehicle, they meet the strange people that you don't want to meet. And they also will help you find a vehicle in their vehicle finder program. They'll help you find a vehicle nationwide, whatever you want, new or pre-owned. Not only will they find it, they will vet the vehicle. They will deal with the dealer. And you don't have to move forward until you approve the deal. And then they also have their commercial division where they act as a strategic partner for businesses with fleets of vehicles, helping them buy those hard-to-find fleet vehicles maintain those fleet vehicles, and sell those vehicles for maximum profit, allowing business owners to run their business. And if you also are interested in an extended warranty, iAutoAgent can help you with that as well. Just go to iAutoAgent.com or go to 636-614-3711, and they will help you find the best warranty at a much lower cost than the dealer and making sure that you are covering your investment. And Gerald, tell us a little bit about Wrestling with Spotlight. Yeah, a new TV channel that was, we just relaunched it about a month ago. It's available on Local Now. You can see some of the best independent wrestling in the country on there. Get some breaking news on pro wrestling. Get to see my show, Wrestling with Sales, on there as well. 24-7 on Local Now. And here, we'll let Lily La Pascadita, your Northland women's champion, tell you about it. Hi, everybody. I'm Lily La Pescarita from Northland Pro Wrestling, your Northland Pro Wrestling Women's Champ. And you can see me on Wrestling Spotlight. There you go. You can see Lily La on the channel, too. 24 right. 7, right there on Local Now, channel 2074. Nice. And then for those of you that are just joining us, go to the YouTube page, the Auto Authorities, and click the subscribe button and the notification button. And you can be notified of all of our podcast. We've been doing this for a really long time and we want your support. And then also you can go to the autoauthorities.com. You can find us on iTunes, Pandora, all the different channels, as well as we go live at 12 p.m. Central Time on Tuesdays. You can find us on the Facebook group page, the Auto Authorities, and then you can also go to LinkedIn and watch us live. Let's get into this. Credit lending guidelines are tightening, Gerald. Holy cow. And this is, uh, you've got some stories about this. Yeah. uh, What we're seeing is uh, looking around dealerships, uh, really around the country, uh, even somebody with excellent credit scores, Mm -hmm. 720 and above, 740 and above, they're getting the terms cut down on what they can get, especially on used cars and the percentage that'll carry. There's quite a few banks, uh, major national banks, ones you see advertised on TV. They don't want to go above NADA retail on their cars, on the used cars. So they're still projecting in drops. I mean, that's why they're doing it, right? Of course they are. I mean, they don't want to. I mean, banks, here's the thing, folks. Banks want to lend as least, least money as possible on any vehicle because if you don't make your payments, they want to be able to take your vehicle back and not lose money on it. And the less that they can loan on that vehicle and the more that it's worth, it makes their risk level lower and lower and lower. And what Gerald's telling you is, this is telling us a story. More drops are coming. 
on the used market, be prepared for that. And this is what I've been telling people for a long time. If you're looking to sell your car, you should sell it now. And if you're looking to buy a car, it's a great time to buy a vehicle. Like the prices have dropped and it is a buyer's market. It's not a seller's market anymore. Now, uh, on certain cars, it still is. But well, that's, I, I think, there are anomalies out there. I think what you're seeing is the banks are definitely saying, hey, okay, the cars have dropped 11%. Used cars have dropped 11% in the last two months. That's still nowhere near enough. Keep pushing it down. Because in years past, you could usually pretty much pencil in that if somebody was a 720 or above score, you could get 120%, of, 120, 130% of NADA clean book. Now it's called JD Power clean book. What? <laughs> Hang on. Yeah, so I mean basically what Oops. what what is that is that out. So when when the lending companies so the banks they're looking at they're looking at JD Power and basically that gives them a pretty good idea of what that vehicle is going to be worth. So if you're going and buying a vehicle, the more money that you can put down, the better chance that you're going to have of getting that loan and also the lower lower interest rates as well. They love when you're coming in with money down because it puts them in a really good position. And frankly, one of the things that I auto agent does is we help credit unions that, uh, that have repossessions coming to them because their members can't pay their bills. And we're selling those vehicles for them and trying to help them limit their losses because they're getting hammered pretty, pretty bad right now. Yeah, I mean, and you're going to see it until, honestly, probably March. I think you'll start seeing some turn. If you take a look, a lot of the analysts are predicting used cars values are going to even out this month, and then they're going to start rising in March because there's still a shortage in used cars. There's probably about 700, 800,000 less used cars on the ground now than there should be according to historical averages. And there's obviously been millions less cars sold over the last few years than should have been sold. But I, I think what you're seeing is this division where things just got way too expensive. You still don't have those affordable used cars. There's not a bunch of 17, 18, $20,000 used cars. You see a lot of dealerships that are sitting on and have been holding on to inventory for a year a year and a half. Heck, there's a big dealership group in Missouri. They have over 700 used cars. Half of their used cars are over 18 months old. That would have never happened mm -hmm. for 2019. Never. Everyone would be fired. I, everybody, gone. I, everybody, no, no chance. Because you had to sell everything within 90 days because it was beaten into your head. Hey, 90 days gets you ahead of the depreciation wave. If you hold it after 90 days, you're a moron. You should have sold it for whatever you could have gotten the first chance somebody said yes. Well, it, it's coming back to that. And, you know, January, February, March, March, you should be through your first 90 days of reality. And I think the inventories are going to kind of stabilize and you'll see a push to get cheaper. Yeah. And what do you think is going to happen, in your opinion, with there's supposed to be four to six rate cuts this year as well, which is also going to help drive more people back into the market, which, sure will. which will be very, very good thing. But if they cut too much, which I don't see that happening, they'll probably cut a quarter of a point. Yeah. Um, then that could, that could also cause an opposite effect where I will have, a, I mean, even a more shortage, but, it, but basically what people are going to do is, they're going for the lesser expensive cars right now. So mm -hmm. if you have a vehicle right now that's you could sell under 20 grand right now, you're going to as like an SUV especially, oh, you yeah, would you're be probably in a fine. very good very good position right now. Mm -hmm. Very very good. And if you have a big truck, that's probably not good. No. Big no. truck, big SUV. Oh. Um some Grand terrible. Wagoneers are going oh. for Grand Wagoneers are going for 70% off two years old at CarMax right now. Isn't that something, man? It's just, it's unreal.
it's just and who'd have thought you know I, I thought chrysler had a good idea of making a hundred thousand dollar less than yeah. 10 miles a gallon suv their volume car yeah. don't you think it would work <laughs> yeah <laughs> seemed that's like fun. it seemed like a great plan no reason why that shouldn't work well that's what i was talking about when it when it comes to these these vehicles it's it's like uh the Stellantis, I, I don't even, I don't even know what they were, th they weren't thinking because they're, if you go, I mean, there's even like 2022 brand new vehicles on, sure there. on the lots right now, like 2022 brand new. Like, what does and, that tell you? Well, and there's here, there's big, big major market Dodge Chrysler Jeep Ram dealerships that historically would sell 200 cars a month new that did less than 30 in December and January got worse. Uh, Stellantis dealers are telling, telling people that January was one of the worst months they've ever seen. And December was horrible. Dealerships that would sell normally 200 cars sold 30. Yep. So you're down 170 cars. Yep. There's no way that math works. So I mean, you're probably going to see a bunch of DCJR dealerships up for yeah. sale or yeah getting owned by groups because at least then you can spread it out over a few stores Yeah, because uh, a major market dealership dropping that much there, there's no math that makes that work. We should tell our good friends uh, that brought us together that maybe that they should go buy a dealership. Yeah. <laughs> buy a DCJR dealership. Available. <coughs> friends for Mornay capital. <laughs> <laughs> well, and uh, on that note, uh, I think that's probably, that's probably about enough. And then we'll uh, we'll be able to take a closer look as we roll into new car regular season, selling season in March. Kind of coincides with baseball season, right? Spring training's going. The new cars are flooding in. Okay, mm -hmm. now it's time. It's regular season in car sales. Mm -hmm. Coming up soon. I can't wait. Because it, it, it does suck. It does suck in the wintertime. <laughs> January for... and February is always horrible. Every year. Yeah. Yeah, it is. But the good thing is spring is coming. Yep. Yep. And I do really believe with the rate cuts, it's going to help out a lot. Absolutely. It also gives some people, you know, this is another opportunity that, you know, when I think about it, if you have like financed a vehicle, and Gerald talks about this a lot. But you can refinance that vehicle at a lower interest rate. Oh, in like, a few months, yeah. And it doesn't cost you anything. There's no mm -hmm. cost to refinance a vehicle. So really, really like golden nugget here, like really watch these interest rates. And as they start to drop, refinance and refinance as many times as you want because they're going to come down and you should take advantage of that. Definitely. And keep that credit Absolutely. score up too, because you know, if you're, if you're letting your credit go, um, that's, that's a bad, bad thing. Cause that's, that's something that is your lifeblood when it comes to your, what the vehicle is going to cost you, you know, ultimately. Yeah. I mean, it's, uh, it's going to be coming up, but I, I think, uh, for everybody, and here, for anybody that's watching this at a car dealership, hang in there, grind away, talk to the customers, be nice, try to put some deals together. March is coming. It'll be okay. <laughs> Just relax. March is coming. It's going to be okay. Yeah. Yeah. And, you know, if, if again, like the opportunity is, is if you have a lower priced vehicle and you, and you want to sell it, that's, it's, it's, it's a great, great time to sell. Like been telling people this for a while and the longer you keep holding it, it's going to keep dropping. So take advantage of it on the buy because there's so many good deals out there right now. I mean, there's so many, I mean, just like what Gerald was saying is like going, go to Hertz, like you can buy a, I'm not trying to like be a good advocate for Hertz, but I mean, like for 18 grand or less, you can buy a freaking model three with only 60 something thousand miles on it. Like that's a three upper three hundred an hour a month payment. And, and you can get a, a vehicle that is pretty cool. 
pretty cool vehicle, but I mean, I'm not a big fan of electric cars yet because I don't feel like we're ready for them quite yet. Coming. It's getting easier, but I don't. Yeah, I don't. I want to go to the gas station still. That's just me. Yeah, it's going to be a couple generations, but they're getting closer. They're getting closer. I told my I told my friend um, she lives in California and she's like, was going to go out and buy a brand new uh, Model 3. And I'm like, well, hold on here a second. Wait a little bit. Yeah. Because the fun's coming. And instead of going out and spending, in the, and granted, there's some tax credits and things like that, but you're still mid 40s to, uh, you know, almost $50,000 for one of these vehicles. So just, just wait. Yep. There'll be more cuts. Well, Gerald, do we have any, uh, any final thoughts on the credit lending guidelines tightening where we can, uh, any golden nuggets? Uh, just that, Hey, you're going to get your absolute best deal. If you come in with 20% we're here, real old school. If you come in with 20% down and 60 month term, that's where the banks are. That's where the banks want to be. So if you want to get the best rate, twenty mm-hmm. percent down, sixty month term, that's going to get you the best deal right now. Thanks. And then, and hey, one other thing: don't worry about whatever rate you get because the rates are going to drop. Right. Wait six months, refi it, and it'll take care of itself. Get the upfront savings on the car. Get the discount on the car. Don't take the special rates because the special rates right now nice. aren't going to be very special in six months. No, they're not. That's take a good- the money pay the extra each point's about eight bucks a month so if it's two points higher than the special rate okay you're paying 16 bucks a month for six months and then that'll go away take the money up front good good point date the rate and marry the car that's the take, end take the money there it is well everybody thanks so much for joining us today we appreciate it go to the youtube page click the subscribe button, click the notification button, join the Auto Authorities family, and uh, tell everybody about us. And we'll see you on the next episode. Peace.